I'm Mike Mouse 74 and this is a Transformers video review. For the Transformers community, please subscribe to Mike Mouse 74. Hey, what's going on, Mouseketeers? Mike Mouse 74 the Transformers video review from Transformers 4 Age of Extinction. This is a Toys R Us exclusive Evolution 2 pack strafe. So, on the back, here it comes with one classic figure, one Transformers Age of Extinction figure. Up here it says four steps. Here's Swoop in his robot mode, his dino mode. Then up here it says ten steps. Here's Strafe in his robot mode and his pterodactyl mode. So I think that about does it for the box. Without further ado, let's get the Toys R Us exclusive Evolution 2-pack strafe out here and see what it's all about. Okay, so here we have the one classic figure swoop in his dino mode. For details, he has some brown paint details on the tops of the wing here and on the other side. Some white paint details here and there. A little bit of blue paint details on the top, right inside there, on the back of the head. He has some red paint details and the eyes are painted blue as well if you guys can see that or not and the same on the other side. His mouth can open, just grab the, um, the back of the head and his mouth can open and close which I thought was kind of cool. To transform Swoop into his robot mode you're going to take the head and flip it back as far as you can which will also lift this blue section up as well just bring it back like that with the um, the wings you want to bring the wings back like this do the same with the other side you bring the wings back and then from here these will become the feet so flip the feet down like this do the same on the other side you can flip the foot down just like that and then bring the wings forward just this part here, this will unpeg here, so don't worry about it. It's supposed to. So just kind of unpeg it just like that and bring it forward. And then do the same on the other side. Again, this piece will unpeg, so don't worry about it. It's supposed to. And just unpeg it and then bring the wing forward just like that. And here you pretty much have swoop in his robot mode. So you can see that he has a little bit of details in the face. They actually painted the eyes for such a small figure. It does look kind of cool. So there you go. And kind of get yourself all situated and whatnot to make him stand. And there he is. So here we have the Age of Extinction figure strafe in his dino mode or his pterodactyl mode. Let's have a closer look at his details. So strafe has some silver paint details alongside the beak and the same on the other side he has some more silver paint details there the same with the other head he has some more silver paint details on the side of the beak there and on the other side right there the eyes are like a bluish green color the, uh, the mouth can open and close on the back of the wings on strafe he has two Autobot logos, one right there and one right there. He also has some silver paint details on the back of the wings that blends into a dark blue color with a little black paint details there. The same on the other side, some uh, dark blue paint details and some black paint details there that blends into a silver color and I like the rivets that go alongside of the wings there in the same there. I like the, uh, the rivets, <laughs> looks kind of cool. and. He has some silver paint details for the claws there and some more silver paint details on the other claw right there. The tail has some blue paint details and kind of blends into like a silverish color look on the back of the tail. So that covers it for details with Strafe. Strafe comes with a few accessories. He comes with his crossbow and two other weapons right there. We're just going to move these off to the side 
just for a couple of seconds. On the bottom of the crossbow, there's a blue peg right there. And on the back of strafe, there's a blue peg hole just right there. And you can go ahead and grab the crossbow and plug that on the back of strafe, just like so. With the other two weapons right here, there's a peg on either weapon, one right there and one on the other one right there. And on the underside of Strafe's wing, there's a peg hole there and there's a peg hole right there. And you have to line it up just right and plug that on the underside of the wing, just like that. And then you can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. You can go ahead and plug the weapon on the underside of the wing and make sure you line up just right. Just like this. And here you have the weapons on strafe. So now for comparison in dyna mode, here we have strafe. And here we have the spin attack strafe. So to transform strafe into his robot mode, he's probably one of the most simplest transformer figures that I've done so far. All you have to do is come down the legs, move the legs down just like this. And then this part here, you want to bring it down just like so. And then you want to rotate just at the knee joint here like this. And then on the inside of strafe, there's a nub right there and a groove on the inside of the, uh, the claw right there. Just kind of make sure these are pegged together like this and you have one of the legs done. And then do the same thing on the other side. You can bring the leg down just like this and then bring the, the this part here down all the way just like this. And again, just spin at the knee joint there just like this. And on the inside, again, there's a nub just right there and a, a groove on the inside there. Just kind of peg it together like this and you have the legs done of strafe. With the arms, you just want to unpeg at the wings, just, just like this. And then you can bring the arm down like that. And then you can do the same on the other side. Just unpeg the arm from the wing, just like that. And then you can bring the arm down like so. With the two pterodactyl heads, you want to get them out of the way and that should give you enough clearance to get Strafe's head out. Just move the head to the side and kind of bring it down like so and then do the same on the other side. Move the head to the side and you can move the head down on an angle just like this. With Strafe's head, you can pull Strafe's head out and here you pretty much have Strafe in his robot mode. With Strafe's crossbow, you can't have him hold it. There's a hole on each of the fist, one there, one on the other side, and it doesn't really matter where you plug it into. Just grab the, uh, the crossbow and plug it into his fist, like so. With the wings, you do have an option. You can leave them out like this, or you can tuck them in behind. You can just fold the wing in, and they kind of overlap each other. And then do the same on the other side. You can fold the wing in and they overlap each other just like that. You can have them like this if you want. But for me, I like to have the wings out like this. It just makes them look that much more cool with the wings out. But that's just me. So just giving you guys an option with the wings. You can either fold them in or you can keep them out. So for Strafe's details in robot mode, his legs, his arms, the thighs, the chest, and the head has some blue paint details. The eyes of Strafe are like a bluish green. He has some silver paint details in the center of the chest. So let's have a closer look at the figure.
up close face shot. For a comparison in robot mode, here we have strafe. And here we have the spin attack strafe. To transfer him strafe back to his dino mode, again, it's very simple. With strafe's head, you can go ahead and push that down like so. With the pterodactyl head, you can move this up like this and then rotate this around like so. Do the same with the other pterodactyl head. You can bring this section up and it actually locks the head of strafe inside. So just bring the head up and rotate it around just like so. With the arms, you can plug them on the insides of the wing. There's a peg right there and a peg right there. And on the back of Strafe's arm, there's a peg hole right there. So we can go ahead and just make sure the arm is on an angle like that. And then plug one on, on one side like that. And then do the same on the other side. Again, there's a peg right there and a peg hole just on the other side. So just make sure the arm's on an angle like that. And then we can go ahead and plug that in just like so. And with the legs, you only want to spin just at the knee joint there. So just take the legs and rotate it around just like so, which you can now flip this piece back up like this and then kind of tuck it up under the thigh, like so. And then you can do the same thing with the other leg. Just kind of spin just at the knee joint, just like so. And then you can bring this part down and flip it back up. And then just kind of tuck it under, around the thigh area like this. And here you pretty much have strafe back into his pterodactyl mode. And with Dre's crossbow, you can just plug it on the back, just like so. And to put this little guy back into his pterodactyl mode, just make sure the wings are folded to the side and kind of snap them into place right, right there. And then do the same on the other side. Just take the wing, fold it back, and just make sure it's snapping it into place right there. And then you can take the feet, you can fold the feet back up like this, do the same with the other foot, fold it up like this, which you can now bring the wings up like that. And with this piece here, you wanna bring this down and then bring the head up and around like this. And here you have swoop back into his pterodactyl mode. And kind of get yourself situated to kind of fold the wings up just a little bit. And there you go. So here's a quick shot of both Strafe and Swoop back in their dino modes. So that what wraps it up for another vid review. This is Mike Mouse 74 and you've just seen from Transformers 4 Age of Extinction, this is a Toys R Us exclusive Evolution 2 pack Strafe. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your Transformers community, stay tuned for lots more reviews to come, join me and all my friends on my Facebook group called The Mouse Trap. if anybody wants to join, I'll put a link down below, you can also follow me on Twitter, I'll post a link down below. I want to thank everybody for watching, and as always guys, take care everyone.